Yes, this is Zach's show. I just I tried to call Tree too. I tried to connect, but didn't get an answer. Mm. Okay, maybe she'll. I wonder if he, she doesn't keep ringing. Come in, yeah. Uh, probably not. I don't know. Uh, I remembered uh, that we said we were going to do a schedule where we're swapping on and off, and I didn't call yet. Yeah, what's uh, what's been the holdup? I just had other things to do. That's fine. Uh, how's your how's how's your uh, Thursday going? Thursday? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it's pretty. <laughs> uh, it was just annoying. I just had to like run all over town to get a hard drive. To Are get... you f- kidding me? Where? I don't even want to talk about it. I just okay. had to get, That's I just fine. had to, it's just like annoying, but yeah, it didn't yeah. really I matter. It. I got to ride the bus. I don't mind riding the bus. <laughs> Anything interesting on the bus today? Um, no, really nothing. On, it, it went smoothly. I got the good spot on the bus. Anybody uh-huh. out there in LA, you ride the bus you know that the one of the best seats is like the ones near the back that are like against the window and they're like you can put your feet up on the seat or up on the um wheel well like the the cutaway for the wheel you can put your feet up on that like a coffee table you can have yourself a great old time on the bus Hmm. it's like a moving throne basically for one dollar and seventy five cents, I think it's the is the charge. So, Wait, is that how much I it is? I think it's like a dollar. I think it's about something like that. Dollar twenty five, dollar fifty, it's, something like that. Bones, it's pretty a pretty good yeah, deal. Yeah, not bad. I was reading some Wendy Chun, catch brushing up on some Chun, starting the Chun cast pretty soon. What do you mean by that? I'm starting the Chun cast. Soon. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make people read Wendy Chan. Yeah, I like, and they, and then nobody wants to. Okay, well, like maybe we I need try to combine to get my... reading Wendy Chan with something that everyone likes. Uh, I thought it would be recording themselves having a good conversation. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I don't know. Huh? What well... is the, the plan for the Chan cast? Like, are you guys like what's the plan was I got some people that I know that are like people that I feel like should know about this stuff, but they don't. And they're not going to read Wendy without me like really trying to really making them read it because it's kind of like hard to read Wendy. Right. She's not super accessible. So I thought combining it with a fun combo, I would like help. I would like, it, it's like it's a make a way to make Wendy more digestible to to uh, people that I know. Like, well, but, if you want to make it more digestible, I think you'd want to add some fiber. Am I right? I guess. Okay. Well, let's figure out what the fiber is. <laughs> um, What's the fiber of, of Chun? What? Wait. Are you following me here? Um, I'm trying to. Okay. I'm trying to think about what the fiber might be. The fiber of Chun. By the way, I'm making some spaghetti right now. Just if you hear some bub- some noises in the background, that's spaghetti noises. Nice. Um... I don't know what the, the fiber might be, but the, the annoying thing is, is that I, my, my friend Ellis, he's, he's claims to like me. He claims to think I have good opinions about things like this. Say that again. But he bought my friend Ellis. He works at snap, mm-hmm. right? He claims to like me. He claims to think I'm like, I'm smart. and I have good ideas about right. this. He even bought, he bought the Wendy. Wow. Book. And antici- he wanted to read it a couple of months like before this podcast idea. He wanted to read it because I was like always raving about it. He bought it and he said he's like never touched it. it or he maybe read a little bit and he's like, ooh, this is too yeah. hard. But I, so I was like, you got to be the first guest because I know you got the book and just fucking read the first chapter and then we're going to talk about right. it. 
he hasn't even done that yet. He said he would do it, and he hasn't. So now I'm just trying to schedule a meeting with him, confront him about why he's not doing Ellis, this. Ellis, if you're listening, that's, come on, dude. That's going to be the first episode is this confrontation why, about why he hasn't Yeah, he's just going to start it off like, so thanks for being yeah. here, Ellis. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Pretty much. Nah, I wouldn't do that, but... Um... <laughs> I thought it'd be good to start with drama, you know? Yeah, like, I mean... Th- podcast, it'll be a good way. Like, it'll grab people right right off the bat for a second. I feel you. I feel you. I really do. But I just don't know. Clickbait? I don't know if that's how you want to kick off the first. Pod bait? What? Pod bait. I'm trying to think of, like, pod, what's the equivalent of clickbait for podcast? It's clickbait, dude. Come on. <laughs> but... It's like, but it's different because click, you see it and then you click. But pod, since it's audio, you have to sit there for a second to be hooked, to be like taken in by an idea. Uh, I guess you're right. I mean, you got, I think you got about one minute to hook them. That's nothing. I know. That's why I got to start off with like something that, that. That much of a boom, just like a confrontation. I need to start starting the podcast like that, just with a big idea. Hey, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. yeah, I'll try it next time. Try to remember that. I mean, I usually come in with an idea. What do you got? Uh, well, I was hoping that I would just come up with an idea when I called because it's just like I put it off all day and I was like, well, let me just call, see if anything comes out. Yeah. Usually, I just look around and think, okay, hat. Fuck my hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got uh, Let me do that. Let's talk about, oh, let's talk about, something. let's talk about our top five, um, our, our dream gear. Dream, dream gear? What like do you mean by that? Gear, your dream camping gear. I don't really know. I'm not like that big of a Fuck. Dude. Oh, camping nerd. Maybe. I mean, you want to talk about one one camp? What do you do? You, do you have like one item in mind that you just really want to talk about right now? Uh, the rhino wolf. Oh, uh, you want to you want to start courting the rhino? Kind of. I think we people? should. Yeah, rhino wolf. If you're listening, Zach and I want to be sort of like camper adventurer with like a hint of like psychedelic drug. I'm gonna throw in a hint of psychedelic yeah, drug I'm not, sort of stuff. I'm not. That's what my character is going to be like. I haven't thought of my brand name yet. Like, I haven't thought of what my Daryl uh, Sweat Daryl <clears throat> Sweat is. I've had a name Bryce Slade. That was like my like fake, like sort of influencer name. So maybe I could go back to that. But whoever my name is, it might be maybe it's Pentacles. Yeah, <sighs> that might be my camping name. But anyway, Rhino Wolf. My, I, I kind of have this name. We want to be influencers. My name is like um, Sebastian Cordova. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. Because I guess I could. That'd be good if Bob and Pentacles was. <laughs> like, what kind of what kind of influencers are we to be if that's our names? <laughs> well, if your name's Sebastian, you could also go by Seabass. So. Uh, I well, see. I don't. I don't really want to be a sea bass. So you say you say Sebastian is like a little fancy, but sea bass can yeah, it. exactly. <laughs> a little bit of both. So, so um, what were you saying? So yeah, Rhino, well, I was just saying Rhino Wolf. The the tent. It's a tent. Okay, we should probably explain to Phil. Okay, it's a tent, but you you. It's a tent, but it combines a sleeping okay, bag, but it's a sleeping tent. pad, first of all, and the tent, tent into one. I want to like, let you guys know that for, it's a tent, first off. Tent, like a camping tent. One person, one player. Is it one person? They're all, I think there's only one per- person ones, but then you, they have like a thing where you're like allowed to zip them together to combine as many as you want. Yeah, you can like connect them. It's like fucking Legos. In the... In the commercial, they they call it a rhino wolf pack. That is cool. like, <laughs> but it, it does look cool, and it was really annoying carrying camping gear around. So we want to be, we want to get some sample product, maybe a little cash flow for the camping trip. We'll just take them out. We'll shoot some beautiful footage out somewhere. 
we'll review this thing. We'll be honest. And if we love it, we're going to say it. They need somebody to say it. I'm sorry, guys. I was yawn. Um, they need someone <laughs> saying. S- Wait, have you checked if there's any Rhino Wolf content on no. the web right now? I doubt. I just kind of doubt <sighs> it. Well, because, like, well, they were supposed to come out. Okay, it's like a Kickstarter, guys. It was like, like, like if we're thinking, but it got fully kickstarted and they were like ready to go. You know, those are like always late, but I think they were on. I mean, track. If they're not out by Let's now. find out, guys. I could see them not being out. I'm going to check YouTube for the Rhino Wolf. Two months ago, 10 months ago, seven months ago. There's. There's only Rhino Wolf official. Hmm. It's available though. I don't think. Can you buy this shit? Oh wait, there's a one guy. <laughs> Let me see what this guy. It's like I found a, a Spanish guy. Oh, it's like a trade show. Okay. It hasn't yet. So yeah, Rhino Wolf. You still got to make your your. <laughs> splash on the camping scene you need some influencer content they out do. there hopefully this hopefully if, it doesn't i mean unless, totally you're, unless this fucking yeah, thing it, sucks it, might. it totally might <laughs> but we don't want it to because it's like it's a dream product like if you guys don't know if you don't i didn't know that carrying pads was common like carrying a camp like a sleeping pad but it's it's they're bulky. Yeah, they can be. I mean, the ones that we had, we had the most. We had the cheapest equipment. So I don't think. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Rhino Wolf, hook us up. Give us give us an upgrade. Yeah, um, I'd love to. Really, I'd love to though, take it out. Yeah, we, we just, yeah we we want to start our. Cam- this would be a really good thing for us for to start our camping influencer career, and it would be good for Rhino Wolf, really. Yeah, it would be good for them. Yeah, I'd love I'd love to test out the gear. You know, we'll make it look cool. We'll make it look really Even good. If-, if it sucks, we'll say it sucks, but we will make it look good. Yeah. I think. I think. I mean Yeah, I don't have much out my- did you have any other content? content ideas for this podcast uh, or are we sure we just i i had a lot of ideas and i just wanted to save them for my show so <laughs> just <Dang>. kidding <laughs> um no I, I i got my patagonia bag though that's your content dang hey you want to talk about it <sighs> i'm just kidding is this no, good content not, uh fuck me and zach both have the same Patagonia. Oh, bag okay. I could give you an update on my on um, <laughs> Darius. Dax is black. No, mine's fucking silver gray, silver. Our, our little sister Logan's got the hookup. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Wait. Treat. Really? Treat. Treat. <laughs> Treat. Trees connected. Treat. She just joined the call. I heard that. I thought we lost. I don't I hear. We lost. I thought we dropped the call. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe she's. Can you hear us, Tree? We can't hear you. We just we can see that you've joined. If you're here, say Tree. <laughs> okay, I don't. Not hearing anything. So, Tree is connected to the call. Tree. Oh, she's gone. Okay. Should I try calling her back? Maybe we were running out of ideas. That was a good good time for her to come in. Yeah, if you want. All right, I'll clip this recording, guys. guys. We'll see you after the sound effect. Apple, rate us in the Apple Pod. All right, I'm gonna call her back. Hello? Tree? I'm here. We're, uh, I don't know where Sexual Alive is. He was just here. I just called him back, too. He oh, should my God. Be... I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Flip. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. There he is. Tree. I'm here. <laughs> oh, boy, Welcome, Tree. Could you hear us before? 
I could, but you know, I had to look into my settings, <laughs> and I fixed it. Uh, damn. Hold on, I have it. What? Oh, shit. I don't know if he can just dip out. I'm not sure if she can just come yeah, back. Yeah, no, she can't. Dang. What? Yeah, you're going to have to so call again. Gonna call again? Yeah. Should I wait like a second? I don't think that, like, I really don't think that she, if, you, if you could visibly see that she's gone, like, uh, I think we should probably I think just... think people can pop in and out. No, I, I really don't think that that's possible. I think Anchor has that technology. Not yet, at least. Not until we give them the million dollar idea. All right, guys, follow us on the Apple Store. <laughs> follow us on the Apple or rate us on the Apple Store. trees that's all folks hi there you guys i'm really sorry i effed that up yeah you thought saying. you could just leave and pop back in yeah it's like i should be able to yeah welcome to right anchor out. yeah yeah welcome to anchor yeah those are the rough uh okay that's been a problem before yeah they gotta fix that we've been dealing with these clowns for about a month or maybe even two at this point that's a local move that's a real that's a real clown boy move that you can't like that. leave, pop out of the car and pop back in. Yeah, and uh, that'd then be great if you could. and then the last time you guys called, I had I accidentally pushed or pressed on your avatar, thinking that I could join the call, and it just played your last podcast. So I mm. had the phone call and your podcast playing all at the same time. That, I wonder if that's that's how we we should recommend that people listen to our podcast like that. <laughs> With I both two layers on top of it. That was really bad. You get a lot of, like, our conversations aren't that action packed, but if you double yeah. them up. Yeah, if you double, if you double them up, you're going to love it. You're never going to be able to stop listening. It made my stomach hurt. I had to stop it. Damn. I, that's why I had to hang up. Yeah. Damn. It, anyway, um, well, I yeah. Know what you guys were in the middle of. But... Uh, well, I mean, we no worries. We weren't we'll really just... in the middle of anything. Yeah. Oh. I, Basically, I, I do want to uh, just – you need to have the bar set pretty low for Anchor. So I just want to let you know that now because you know... we've really been trying to give these guys like a, a piece of advice or here and there. Just, hey, Anchor, like uh, maybe have an okay idea. You know, <laughs> they don't care. I feel like Anchor is fine other than – just like some technical problems like the calls just drop a lot have you gotten any feedback from them are they feel are they listening nah, to these? silence no. dead air on their end no i'm pretty sure they're listening to our though they just don't like show that they're listening like we can't see that they're listening to it do you think one day they're gonna run a campaign you know how iphone did like shot on iphone yeah. They're, yeah, they're gonna like shout you guys out for, i was in uh, their campaign their latest yeah. commercial what I my pod, that's what? all, folks. Was you're on the, the first you're actually voice you on hear that. on you the first. If you hear, yeah, if you go look at the latest anchor propaganda on YouTube, my... they show the new um, co-host feature where you can like yeah. propose a topic, and my voice is the first voice on there. And they also they they showcase a small clip, like a minute long clip from my episode. Minute? That's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it was. I couldn't believe how much. I'm they, a straight up commercial. What did they clip? You gotta put. I got mine. Instagrams. You gotta. You gotta blog that. Oh, the the you anchor got... promoed me that I'm an yeah. influencer now. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I am a talk influencer now. You're a talk influencer. You should throw that on the trash can. Anchor knows that I'm one of the most powerful talk influencers on the social network. This is what I was gonna. Just I'm the you. PewDiePie of Anchor. Yeah, this is what I was just gonna tell you. As someone that works in social media i 100 percent, 100 percent know they like have your name in some like google spreadsheet as like top top users or something well like that. So they're it's just because well, okay people. i mean i don't know if you knew but you know if, you know john uh-uh. john like i worked at the oh, verge yeah, yeah, he yeah he works there oh shit that's okay. why yeah i mean that's why 
All right. Well, then that's John. Okay. I got a guy on the inside, really. Not as impressive. Okay. I thought yeah. they just. <laughs> yeah, no. They didn't, just, they didn't pluck that. me out of obscurity. Yeah. I thought that maybe. Uh, I like to think I'm a pretty good, like, talker, too, that that led to some of the decision making, also. But yeah, no. Nah. It was just like an obvious. <sighs> yeah. And they could easily ask me. John was like, hey, is that okay? And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're like you're like I don't give a shit. No, that's tight I though. Guess. I think you should play that up. You no, I said that's really cool. Let people know that. That's really fun. Um, I do. Yeah, it's my episode. The, the okay, thing is, it's like it's my episode where I was talking about aliens with this truck driver named uh, JP. I think. You you took it you did you take was it a comb on the street or something? No, it was one of the topics on Anchor co-hosts. It was we both wanted to talk about aliens, and oh. so we talked about aliens for like fifteen minutes. I love that. I didn't know you could do that. You could just talk. They it was like a prompt, and you just yeah like yeah yeah. Well, you can type it in on the main page now. Oh my! I- you can put in a topic and then look for somebody to talk about that topic. Oh my god! That's you didn't so- know about this. You didn't no. treat. You're telling me someone with a bunch of limbs hanging out there, you didn't catch on to this? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Shit. No, I didn't. I, I, you know, I'm honestly not super familiar with, with their innovations, but I feel like this is one of the freshest. You know, maybe they can cut me up. They clip me, clip me saying this and put me in a commercial. <laughs> um, That's a- <laughs> I feel like this is one of the freshest, hottest new social medias on the scene, for sure. No doubt. Yeah. This Maybe. It's um, very revolutionary. I mean, I use the word revolutionary. Will, uh, we'll see. I mean, <laughs> well, we, we've we got a lot of beefs with Anchor. Yeah. I, I realize that I talk time. a lot. Sorry, I want to out here. Tree. more time on the platform. Tree. I, I, I clicked... You can look at the homepage now, and you can see all the ideas that people are putting out there. Like, yeah. I want to talk about music. I want to talk about spirituality. I want to talk about whatever. And if you yeah. push, if you click one once, like one time I saw like podcast ideas. Like I was, wanted to help somebody think of a podcast idea. I clicked it once, mm. now, day in and day out for like two weeks. About every twenty minutes, I'd get a notification with somebody who wanted to talk about podcast ideas. Really? Wait, how many times a week? It was like for two weeks I had this. No- I couldn't turn the notification off. They finally added the preference because oh my I God. couldn't. I got added to like the notification group that anytime anybody on the whole service wanted to talk about podcast ideas, I would get a notification. I think they're just throwing out user like getting user research. They just messed up. Feedback. That's crazy. <laughs> they, they just messed up. I talked about some uh, podcast ideas with one person once, and then the rest of the times I just didn't answer the call. That's yeah, that still, was a terrible that's podcast. That's still really cool, though. I mean, that's still really cool that you can propose any question. And yeah. It's, but, and it's really cool that it, it sounds super beta. All my questions never got answered. Like, I, oh. my topics suck, I guess. Oh, shit. What was, like, what was your worst one? Mm, I was going to do extinct animals was one. Nobody wants to talk about nah. extended talk about extinct animals? 15 minutes. That's the max on the conversation. They clip it, mm. which is pretty good because when Nobody you just meet knows. somebody, you don't want to say, um, let's end Hey, this. you're like, hey, I'm done talking to you. That's so awkward. Yeah, there should just be a, a, a eject button. There is. I mean, it's a 10 minute. Yeah, you could, you, 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 could, just, minute. You could just hang up. True yeah. that. You could ghost them. That's rude, though. You... <laughs> yeah. That's kind of rude. Like uh, after the call them? ends, they say, "Would you record this person again?" And you have to say yes or no. You rate them. Well, oh you say God. if you would record with them again. Did you ever give anybody a low score? No, I didn't. I get it was cross. That's hurtful. I, no. You're basically saying you're not a good conversationalist, you know? Yeah. Or they were mean. Or they were mean. Yeah. Did you ever find any mean people? No, not really. Mm. I already was pretty nice. Have you I guys mean, really been talking about Anchor this whole entire time? Nah, just since you got here because we even had, had Anchor problems. I'm we, sorry. Okay, yeah. We give get Anchor a lot of time, though. We do we talk do. about Anchor a lot. Yeah. They love they're, you guys. They're a good enemy for us. 
hate your master. We, we, yeah. The system itself. Yeah. They don't. They probably don't like that. But uh, anyway, what were you talking about before? That's what I want to know. Um. What the heck? That sounds like the loudest thing of all time. <laughs> There's no <laughs> mute. <laughs> Apparently not. Anchor didn't Holy have a mute. Shit. How about I've been holding your piss? <laughs> you think you think Anchor would have a mute button? <laughs> Wait, that's the I think I think it on fucking I think it unmuted. Hold on. I'm going to keep talking and mute myself right now. Can you hear me now? Do that get... again. Do yeah, I work? can still hear you. Oh, shit. Wait. No, uh-huh. that it's it's like a tiny little room, and it was just like, there's <laughs> nothing in there, so it just like echoes. It's like a oh. porta potty. <laughs> Wait, that was really the toilet, though? Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, guys, wow. t- this episode is going to be about loud peeing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, like, it's not that it's loud peeing. It's that that sounded like a, like a bucket full of piss. I mean, it did sound like a lot. <laughs> really? Just, yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> it was a normal amount. It really it wasn't that much. What's a, <laughs> What's the diameter of your average stream? <laughs> You could, like, you're just, I, I don't want the, like, you could definitely, like, figure out, like, the girth of my penis with that information. So I, don't want, I don't want the <laughs> listeners to know. <laughs> but I will say, yeah, what are you working with, like, a pencil? <laughs> pencil. We got to get, we got to get chicken sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's, like, a, like, a, a pint of ice cream wide. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> never got like a hose, like a no. like a garden hose, no, like an literally. oval pint of ice cream. Like I'm, this is like a Briars, like exactly, <laughs> oh like no joke. I thought you like dumped a bucket of Briars. It did sound like that. It did just sound like dumping water. <laughs> do you feel? Do you? Do people like this? Like, is this good? Like, guys, what? like, good this, I'm talking about the viewers. Like, guys, yeah. like, I don't know if this is actually. Funny. I don't know. But I don't, I don't think know. it is actually. This might not be good content. We <laughs> we were trying to uh, what you to answer your question earlier, Tree. Yeah. We were trying to court <laughs> Rhino Wolf, the the tent brand, uh, into be to giving <clears throat> us tent money and products to be influencers. So I don't what? know how much they're gonna like this second half of the podcast about. <laughs> oh <P>. boy. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's like that's crazy that we just started like complaining about anchor problems and then like buckets of piss <laughs> being flushed <laughs> and then asking them to like hire you anyway. Yeah, no, but I think we I still think we'd be good. We are saying that our influencer names mine's gonna be Bob and Pentacles, I think. Oh, okay. Zach's Sebastian Cordova. Wait, Cordova. I have one. Uh I, oh, mine was Zachary Threddy. That's your threat. That's your thread name. Yeah. Is that also your influencer name? Uh, well, it's a sub name. Do you have an influencer name? Tree. I mean, it's Tree, but then my sub name is Zachary. Uh, uh, you, I, you should go on Anchor Co-host and like just have the conversation like topic be trees, and then your name will be Tree. And then, like, so, like, they'll be like, oh, shit, like. Oh, shit. Then I'm you know talking I mean? about trees. Yeah, I mean, give them, just ask people about, yeah, different would, people about trees. And, and I just, bet I introdu- love that. just introduce yourself as tree, too. Let I think me ask you like guys that. both. Do you, uh, either of you have a good story about a tree? If you had one, if you look mm. back on your life, the I book of stories, question. do you have any good stories about a tree? I Can think. We- I think the last time that I talked to Zach, I did tell him the origin sto- story about tree. You could and check I'm- that out on Zach's oh, yeah, show yeah, live. Yeah, 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 that one yeah. tree. Yeah, then- I heard that story. Yeah. So is that the best story of your life about trees? That might definitely be the most memorable because I had that. Tr- so just very quickly, uh, the city of New York would put plaques on the sidewalk because there were no trees at anywhere to be seen. And they said, a tree will be planted here. And I waited, like, 
two years <clears throat> for this tree to arrive. And then when it got there into the front of my apartment, it was the tiniest, tiniest tree I've ever seen with no leaves. And it was really sad. So I'm I just, think that, yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking sad. like how much time and effort probably went into like figuring out which tree you like put there. You know, that was probably the perfect one. It That's maybe what took so long. You know, you know though, <laughs> have you seen the way the new sort of like machinery that pulls trees out of the ground? No, what does it look like? Like a claw of like a like a machine? It's like a tube claw that just digs straight down like <clears throat> like twelve feet into the into the ground or maybe like it's twenty into the feet into the earth's core. Yeah. It basically drills out into the earth's core <laughs> and then so that it doesn't ruin any of the roots. So it goes all the way to the bottom and just like just sucks it out and just like Whoa. a perfect cylinder. This is for like oh. transplanting trees? It's for replanting trees, but oh. it's for replanting really big trees, like a yeah. full grown. Nah, tree. I gotta check out a it video of that or something. It looks good. Um, I don't know. That's the most memorable tree story. What's yours? Um, I I used to work at like a nursery, so like I I fucked with a lot of trees. Oh shit! Yeah. So I don't know. Like I just I have a lot of like fun memories of just going on plannings with like my friends and just like I don't know nothing specific but just like you know we had like big ball and burlap and we like lift them up with like forklifts what's ball and burlap uh like a tree root is like like a big ball of dirt with like a burlap sack wrapped around it got it yeah you know like like some technical language yeah (laughs) (laughs) I didn't realize it but yeah I guess it is (laughs) uh but just like picking up big ass trees with like forklifts and like you did that yeah that's in you rode around in a forklift not like a huge one but yeah like a little like a like, bobcat yeah yeah oh my god that's crazy yeah it's actually really easy to run but yeah pretty fun but also was scary was, was that one of the funnest times of your life just like you would just catch yourself in, in like the middle of a thought during the middle of the day like i'm riding around transplanting trees inside of a bobcat because i feel like uh i mean i wasn't mm-hmm. always doing I, I like moved like mulch pallets and like uh, i would I, like just whenever we were putting like trees into like backs of trucks or whatever loading it up we'd like use this use the uh yeah i don't know it's fun to use like big machinery Why? like that That's really. So fun. do you really think it'd be that was it fun it wasn't fun it was <laughs> i mean it was fun but it was also scary because, like, you oh. could also, like, really hurt people. So I, I was always being really careful. Oh. And also, like, my my friend's, like, little brother, like, the people I live with, like, he got his foot crushed. Oh, my God. And, yeah, like, he he literally shattered his heel because of that machine. So, like, I was a little bit scared of it. Well, I guess I thought of it mm. as being fun in, like, a Lego Legoland kind of way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean... That's yeah. just what I imagine. Not like sometimes. Reality. Sometimes. I mean, like we used to like ride it around, and we would put like a, the forks on, and put like a pallet on the forks, mm. and then raise, and we would stand on the pallet, and then raise it up really high, and then like drive with it. That was really scary. Wow. It, as seen on Logan Paul's vlog, oh, he did it too. Yeah. I honestly have not watched anything about Logan Paul in a while. Why? I'm so you're in the low gang. I was in. No, I was. <laughs> I was never really in the He stopped making vids. He yeah. Yeah. I, uh, he hasn't posted one in almost a week I now. I know that he did something. Really? Videos. Just because. Yeah, he's just been streaming. Have, he's you, like, have you been easier. watching those? The streams? Not at yeah. all. Yeah. I just. There's, they're, they're, not, they're not interesting to me. He's hooked on the video. He's like hooked just because it's, it's like, probably like, mm-hmm. new to him. It's probably just pretty easy, too. Like, yeah. Playing video games is. A lot easier. I think it's a vlog to go. Oh, because yeah, he can definitely. he can be like he could be like super hungover and just sit in a chair and play video games. Like, dude, what if yeah. in like a year from now, Logan Paul like is like just like thirty pounds heavier and then he and, eats soda all day. But like an insane gamer. But an insane gamer, yeah. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of funny. If anything, he's gonna get more ripped because, like, think? all he does is stream yeah, for three he's hours a day. Oh. I mean, the rest of the time he's gonna like go 
Rico ten steps out of his backyard at oh, the gym. Rip it up in his the gym. Rest of his time. So he's like on. He's still on vacation. I mean, who knows? I mean, I think he's. I think, I think he's, he's just got like, other shit going on. I mean, Logan Paul, L- impulsive, <laughs> dropping. Right, 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 right. How do, how do we? We got to get podcast. on that podcast. We're trying to how, get how on. Do we, how should we get on it? We just had to break in, probably. To the what? Studio? Into the, yes. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could just get him to, like, invite us on the podcast and we can have a one-on-one or two-on-one. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Good luck. Podcast the podcast. I mean, I think we need I to keep, that, I think we need to keep I mean, pulling, like the, like, the Cleveland card. Well, well if he wants to... Cleveland is... Have any influence on Anchor? He's gonna have to go through me. Well, so. what you guys should do is, um, did you hear about how Cleveland or I don't know, it's not Cleveland, but in Ohio, the first wait, wait, wait. I think I heard this. I think I heard this. The, the first university ever where you could major in gaming or something like that. Oh, really? I thought yeah. you were gonna say Cleveland Rocks, because I didn't know that. What's Cleveland Rocks? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although I did read that LeBron is the most um, significant athlete of all time. Of all time, Sean would love to hear that. <laughs> He's the most significant. I don't know. It was. Let me. Yeah. What does that I mean? Know. It's just a thing that I got on my phone. Let's see what it says. Uh, for some reason, I mean, maybe it's because I was like, I was little, but I thought Michael Jordan. Was That's bigger. what I thought. Well, I think the this argument is, is that that LeBron is actually a better athlete, and I would agree. I would agree with it. Really? Because his career has lasted a lot longer, and like. Well, oh, where's wow. Space Jam? Too? Yeah, I know. Well, that's a, that's yeah, another he didn't uh, franchise. He didn't franchise. That's another uh, thing. Well, LeBron's supposed to be in Space Jam too. Mm-hmm. There's a Space Jam too. With Steph Curry too, apparently. I mean, funny. I'm okay with it. Yeah. I like that. They're gonna be doing some things. Do you hear? Um, because Steph Curry's on. He's on. Um, the Golden Gates or whatever. What? What's the team? Oh, What's the San Francisco Golden, team? Golden State Warriors. Golden. Yeah, they have like a bri- the yeah, bridge. Yeah, San Francisco the bridge. Mm. They got into isolation chambers. The whole team did. Oh, what the fuck? For how long? Yeah, like before and after the games, they would. Are you like, talking about cryo, into, like, cryo, like cryogenic things? I uh, I don't know if they're into that now, no. But I'm talking about the deprivation, like where you float sensory in water, deprivation, like salt water. Yeah, sensory deprivation. The t- the the San Francisco well, Golden. What they They're the Golden State. I guess Golden State. Golden State. Oh yeah, Warriors. Go, yeah, the Golden yeah. State Warriors are all into this. The whole team. That's very. It. That's very Silicon Valley of them. Yeah, very true. Yeah, I heard in the new Space Jam, there's like a whole scene where like Steph Curry's in. I there. heard there's yeah. Isn't that is that the same scene where like they're like kind of microdosing with uh, bugs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. The whole team is microdosing, <laughs> <laughs> and they have like they have like consensual, like weird, like basketball <laughs> dream type yeah. thing. They're like all in it. Like there's like a shaman like guiding them through this. Like, wow, this is actually an awesome yeah. idea for the movie. Yeah, I know. If you're Warner Brothers, if you're I if know you're either listening. one of the Warner's brothers, I have a lot of ideas. <laughs> we got a couple of brothers right here that have a lot of ideas. <laughs> You're going to be like the Duplass brothers. I don't want to be compared to anyone. <laughs> the Warner brothers. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There's plenty of good brothers out there. Yeah. What were you going to say? Yeah. Oh. We were talking about brothers. How many brothers are there out there? <sighs> There's Logan Paul. That's a... That's a question for and like the call. masses. There's the Duplass brothers. There's the Cohen brothers. There's the. There's the Martinez twins. There's... Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of twins. Like that's a really like influencer thing. Dang. Um, Mary Kate and Ashley. They're the only girls. Oh I... no, Tia and Tamara. Tia and Tamara for sure. But they're the only ones. Um, Dylan and Colt. Well, you guys are talking. Now you guys. What, you guys we're, talking we're I thought you were talking about brothers. Yeah. Brothers now. We gotta go on brothers. Now you're doing siblings. You moved to siblings. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> well, sisters too. Why not? 
Brothers. Oh, so sisters are brothers now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just basically listing off names. I think it's because we got through all the brothers. <sighs> wow, it really is 2018. No, it's mm-hmm. because we just got through all of the brothers. There no, okay, that. okay. Well, uh, we were talking um, about... Okay, anyway. We were talking... Anyway, what, what, what was your thing about the no, tree? No, hold on. Though? We were talking about brothers. I had a really good thing to bring up. Um... That I was like such a freaking good idea and I forgot it. Fuck. Whoops. Um, hold on, give me one more second, guys. And while you wait, please please rate us in the Apple Store. Uh, <laughs> give us in here. <laughs> give us a couple stars. Give us five if you want. May as well. It's not that it's not that much harder for you to put five on than it is for you to put four or three. Like it's pretty easy yeah i don't know i was something with micro dosing i just totally lost it all right whatever you you've been micro ding no i just it had like to like go off of that but it was maybe about lebron about basketball if you were micro ding you would have remembered though yeah you're probably right go okay continue with the conversation i guess let's go back to trees <laughs> okay how we what's the climax of this podcast we're nearing the end trees <laughs> Uh, the climax was probably like the peeing, really. <laughs> Maybe we should go back to talking about that. Wait, hold on. You know, um, I did think that you guys were calling me because you were asking me a while back to do some impressions. Uh, but what do you mean by impressions of like my some voices? Characters? Yeah, we want to hear the voices, yeah. inflections. So to, this is a good. Any, this is a good final way to end this. Let's yeah. Let's do a couple of these voices. I don't have to work on these, but okay, well, let's give it a shot. Just, just shoot, shoot, shoot us a voice memo whenever you feel so, like you. Well, here, oh. let me give them. Let me give the audience a backstory. Okay. Tree, Tree's drawn a lot of pictures of different characters over the over the years, and she's sort of like drawn the same one a couple times, and so they become characters. And so I gave, I told her to list them in a PDF. And some of their characteristics, where they live, what they like, what they do, etc. So she did that, but then I was like, hmm, I kind of need to hear what these people sound like. So because we didn't want to do any injustice to your characters, oh. we wanted to just get a better picture of what they sound like. Okay, well, and what they act, and I feel like we could imply a little bit more about their mood and their their aesthetic if we heard like you just doing a few of the lines and the voices that you imagine they they have. The best pre- impression that you can. I mean, it's your character, so it's not even the best. That's just what it is. That's a good point. Um, but you might imagine a voice that you yeah, can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I mean, is what I'll I'm saying. I'll the hip and give it a try. I mean, like, um, I think so. There's so, this, first character. The first character that I, I thought about today. So, I honestly have kind of put my original characters into a shelf for a little bit. I have so many. Um, but there are a few, like, titular kind of, like, central characters that come up a lot. And I would say that Dirty Girl is, like, dirty as in D-U-R-T-Y. Girl with a U. So she uh, she just lives, she's very, um, like, she lives alone in an empty apartment that's just filled with Amazon Prime boxes. <laughs> that's and, good and she like she just like really likes the internet she actually has a full time job but it's like kind of a mystery but like cause the rest of her house is like pretty nice <clears throat> but there's just like nothing in it mostly because she's just lazy but you can tell that she's like she she's not like poor or anything so that's why she can just like keep buying a bunch of shit this um, sounds like an influencer really yeah yeah I would say so because she I thought you said that she wanted to be an influencer. I think that's what she's like. Her central motivation is like figuring out. Uh, is she a rich girl though? Like, does this money come from family? No, she just walks. Through, I think maybe she has some sort of like trust fund. Maybe, maybe uh, that's okay, a little okay. bit too much. Okay, maybe, okay. Maybe, maybe she like had. A she's startup. smart. I think she had like a startup that she sold like when she was thirteen. And she's, like, just riding on the bitter end of that cash flow. Like, she was on Shark Tank, but the idea wasn't really that good. Yeah, exactly. Like, she got a little bit of money for it. <laughs> yeah, and... like, the publicity from Shark Tank kind of, like, gave her the... Yeah. 
it gave her a little raft to float on. Yeah. And like, she just like walks around like her outfit, you know, she's not fashionable at all. She just likes wearing tube socks and she just like walks around naked. Um, <laughs> and, and the, a big, okay. I don't know. It's kind of, like I got them pulled detail. up now. It took me so long. It, huh? If you guys want to see the picture, just do. One, I'll put, what I'll kind put of, one of the pictures of one in for the art on this on Anchor. What kind of voice does she have? Like, um, like did you did you even think about this yet? That's crazy. Yeah, I don't think I've <clears throat> outwardly really like. I don't. I make up scenarios. Like, for her, but like I don't talk to my. She family. has a line here. But yeah, put she her in a, a scenario. Line here, I see. So today, like, I was thinking that maybe a good scenario for her is just kind of like doing like a walk cycle. If I like were to animate it or something, I just wanted to be walking and walking, kind of thinking about like you'll cut to like different memes that are like it's, this is like an ongoing thing. Like she's just like walking around her town and with her socks, and she has like a little bit of piss on her socks, and then she doesn't say because <laughs> she doesn't say much, and she just goes kind of like, <clears throat> kind of like Charlie Brown. So it's like. I see. I see all on your in your document here. You have a bunch. Is she of like lines. lazy? Like like kind of a lazy talk. Like her talk is very uninterested. Like yeah. Know, like, like maybe she like just like, like mumble uh, sounds. Let's just get cut to the chase. She kind is of she like annoyed? She, no, she's a little bit just like exhausted. Okay. She's just totally exhausted about everything. But then it's like, what are you really exhausted about? Does she um, take any? Is she on anything like medication? Hey, totally can I ask sober. you? Can I just ask okay. you? To... Look, I see this picture here. She's got a frying pan. Oh yeah. She's got a, right, a grocery bag on. Mm-hmm. She's got socks. I see the pee. Her socks are in a, a puddle yeah. of pee. And she says, "There's a talking balloon." She says, "I made eggs." Yeah, that's the... so. How does she say that? So yeah, so she went shopping. So when just say she... it. Oh, okay. <laughs> she okay. It's like how this. would she it's say like it? It's like this. I made eggs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I'm getting kind of like a Liza Koshy vibe. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> this one she said. That's good. So it's like nasally and like kind of like throaty. Yeah, because she's got like like kind of like these little duck lips. So it's okay. kind of like a brr, brr, yeah. Oh, um, okay. This other one that I did, she's she has kind of, of an accent. Hey, yeah. eggs. Hey, <laughs> I don't know what that accent is. Maybe Midwestern. <laughs> so I might eggs. So what in her? Where's her, she from? Um, I think she's probably from um. Myrtle Beach. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I thought I thought I recognized that accent. I'm gonna go down Barefoot Land and see if I can get some so she's pass out some business like, cards she, for my Instagram. So I think like she was like born and raised for the first part of her life there. So she has this really like this it's lingering not- accent, like this tinge of an accent that's mixed in, in a bunch of other stuff. Sounds like she kind of didn't have a childhood. Maybe this is why she's doesn't care about some of these like hygiene. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we don't really need to get that deep, but not yet. I got not a lot. Yet. I got a lot from maybe that. season two. Just from those three words, I got a lot. Yeah. I made a. Can you do it one more time? Yeah, she's like, uh, she has a lot of ambient sounds around her, so you'll hear like scraping, like a pan, or like if she's well, maybe she's making eggs. Yeah, and you hear like the, and then out of out of that sound emerges, I made eggs. <laughs> There's and, some other lines here. I can't read them. This though, one is on this, this document. one is like she um, she's kind of like sitting on a chair, and she only has a table lamp and a box of tissues lying on the ground, and some like piss underneath her chair, and she has like her heart to her chest. And she's like looking off into the distance and she's saying, where is my, where is my, so she's like thinking about where she left them from. Can this, you do, where is my, <laughs> it's like kind of quivery too. Where is my, 
Yeah. <laughs> where um, where is my I'm making eggs. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I'm just gonna read this one. What is she this? says a Bitcoin investor? Yeah, I, I might like, have to cut oh, this. I like that. I might have to cut this. Do you have any more voices though? Um, or would you? Let's see. You yeah. doesn't sound like you're really ready for the voices. Those are the that's really the only thing I've got. Yeah, there's a dumb yeah. baby. I'm gonna have to think about it. Yeah, I don't want you to like just make one up and not have it not be the one. You told so. me to shoot from the hip, so that. I well, no, no, yeah, I, do want, I didn't know if you had anything like on lock. I was just like, I, now you seem like you didn't understand what I want. What I was like. You just wanted me to talk these, through these characters. Yeah, we wanted some voices. Would, really, I didn't know if you wanted some time to think about it or not. Mm. Now that you see what I'm talking I about, felt, I also felt like I needed to set the scene a little bit so you could really. Oh. Picture what you, like. Yeah, I, yeah, that's important for sure. Um, so, what do you got? Those, what do you? I'm actually the picture of a made egg as a say that for this. Can the I listeners? Ask, I want to put the, the I made eggs art up. Thinking about that image. I actually okay. wanted to do this because I wanted to know what you guys, like, what your impression might be for someone, a character that looks like this, that kind of, like, that's that's the background. Like, what would you guys guess? Because I've been in my mind about her yeah. for a very long time. What would the what voice be in my mind when I'm yeah. seeing it? I mean, I, I'm not okay. looking at it right now, so well, I don't know. Well, just with your imagination of what she might look like. Well, now I'm, I'm influenced by yours now. Mm. Nah, give me your give me yours without knowing what it looks like, Zach. I, I feel like that's what it, it would have been though. On <laughs> my legs. Yeah. Um I, I, I Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I can't I can't I I'm trying to go it really does look like wow. that. <laughs> that's it. Maybe maybe just more like screechy, you know what I mean? Mm. Like you know what I mean? Like, ah, Maybe it's ah. like a whistle. Any any reason why um the vag lips are always exposed? Oh, um, I just really like that. It's kind of like a, thing, <laughs> it's kind of like a thing that shows up a lot. There's this one ca- uh, a version of her where her uh, her vag lips are very big. They're like the same size of her, as her head, and she's like just walking around like fanning them out. And it's just because like no one ever draws vaginas that big. Yeah, the biggest vaginas I've seen probably in drawing. <laughs> they kind of just look like, like old fruit, like old withered fruit. <laughs> yeah, definitely, like a like a dried piece of mango or something. I imagine like like some of them are like open, like not like they're like open like caves. <laughs> So I imagine like a wind moving in and out of them. You hear that a lot. That's her ambient. That yeah. that's whenever she's walking, she could you could kind of hear. <laughs> it's like you always hear her coming, and she's always making eggs. I made. And it's a kind of like a whisper. It's like, hey, I made eggs. <laughs> okay. I feel like. Do you think that she could be an ASMR artist? Yeah, definitely. Because it's because she has a pretty soft oh voice. Oh my god! I can. She's probably like she's rich. She's like ASM, ASMRing her vag. Well, not only that, <laughs> she just is always unboxing. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm. Wow, mm. I never thought about this. I kind of like the idea mm. of her unboxing like to infinity. Like she just opens boxes with more boxes. And just she keeps like and keeps opening them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, uh, Inception. I guess I kind. I literally just thought of that, and I just was gonna. I was like, okay. I feel like she posted that. Call back to our bad podcast she, yesterday. I love that. I love that idea because you know this whole time I just thought that she was just a shopper, but she just likes unboxing things. I think unboxers always liked unboxing things. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone does. Probably how they got into it. Yeah, I do like <clears throat> opening things. Love it. Well, she just gets new socks. 
all the time. And she pe- and pisses She's on them when they're new, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember watching that? Do you remember watching that um, old YouTube video, "Sexy Blue Jeans Boy" or something? I feel like I watched it with was you, it? where the guy would get new like new shoes and then pee into them and then like step in them. Yeah. Wait. Was this kind of the time where people would wear jeans and like pull their pants and stuff and pee and what? And then, oh yeah, and they would sit in the bath yeah. water with their jeans on, their new jeans well, like, on. To, to yeah, like the break them guy. in, right? <laughs> no, it's just like sitting nah, on Nah, it was like a fetish It's thing. like the same as like people that sit on balloons. That's a fetish? It's like they just like the, yeah. Just like wet clothes. Balooners, yeah, wet clothes. Oh, Weird. Man. I've been thinking about that. Like I was trying to but remember. Do you think you've been subconsciously thinking about those? Do you remember the guy that peed in the shoes? Yeah. Yeah, he'd be in a lot of new shoes, and he would step in them sometimes. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Don't know where it is on YouTube. I can't find it anymore. Might totally was. I, I think I remember thinking, like, that's, like, a real strange fetish. I tried to find it, and I couldn't find it. Oh, shit. Where the fuck? Who? Where? Is there a real life Damien. thing somewhere? <laughs> Darius, I mean... <laughs> Darius oh, Kensington. Zach, che- <laughs> Zach's checking on his weed plants in the garage. They're, I think they're fucking driving over looking for him. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's a good thing they're in the garage. You can't I'm actually, I, I'm outside they, right now. They might be able to see that what? light. They might be able to see the heat. The garage is open. I'm actually here. I'm right here with Darius and, and uh, Kensington. That's beautiful. Anyway, happy birthday to YouTube today. Happy birthday, birthday, YouTube. I did watch that first YouTube video. That was really cute. I can't believe the first one. Was it any good? Is it worth my time? It's it very was, short. It was just it's very... it was 18 seconds oh, or something. He was really it was just boring. Like, <laughs> does I have a lot of views. Nah, it, what are you talking about? <laughs> it was the guy. It was it was you. It was the guy to zoo. It was like real. I think it was just like an example video. I was like, I'm at a zoo yep. and oh, okay. I'm here in front of the elephants and I really like the elephants because they have a really big trunk. I guess that's mm-hmm. all there is to say about that. Yeah, he was like, um, he, was, that's it. He, was, he, was, he was dropping into uncharted territory. I mean, he was just like, did he fucking work for you too? Sort of. I think he must have. Probably somebody who's like associated with them. Do you think that Not was? Right. Do you think that actually was YouTube? It was YouTube. What do you mean? Like the the YouTube Benjamin YouTube. <laughs> oh, <laughs> probably. I, don't know. I can't. Remember. Who else would it be? I don't know, guy. I'm just freaking grasping at straws here. I'm trying to get you a laugh before right. this podcast. Well, I hope I got you. I wanna. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's gonna I'm gonna wrap things up here. Maybe we'll come back and do some more voices tomorrow on Zach's pod or something. Yeah. Or maybe we'll just talk later or something. But maybe, yeah, we got to get a few more voices. We got Dirty Girl is good. That'll be the album art for this podcast. Um, and I got it... what's up, Anna? I have one question. Oh, sorry. I mean, tree. No. Is there a reason why? Uh... You guys, are you just trying to get more of, like, a soundscape for this podcast? All right. What is that? What do you mean by that? I don't know. You guys, like, are there any other voices you guys have tried on this? On the podcast? Yeah. Is it, like, uh, is it uh, originating from anything else other than just, like, wanting to do voices? Oh, oh, um, oh, wait, like, what, why do we want to know the voices? Yeah, or if like you guys have been playing around with voices on here. No, no we haven't. No, we no, haven't. Here, but we're just talking about in general. Just, I guess we could do some improv. On- <laughs> yeah, if really wanted to. Maybe, maybe on like next episode, if like we all are, we all just come in with a different character, and we just yeah. play that character out for like maybe ten or fifteen minutes, and then we break out and then talk about it. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good it's a pretty right. good idea for a podcast actually all right well how are we gonna know what each other's you characters don't are? you don't Talk. this is like a real uh i know game. it really is I'm, I'm glad that i have you guys to do it with me 
<laughs> uh, well, are we going to be Anna's characters? Or no, no, Anna's you're just your own character. You come in and maybe just, maybe just think right. of a few things like um, job title, like maybe like, maybe cut like two personality traits and mm. maybe like one or two physical things, like a physical appearance. I don't know. Just like if you, just to like, don't think about too much. Just kind of make whatever happens happen. And whatever feels natural to you, and that's right because that's your character. That's so that's true. what it's called character development. We're gonna start from square one. Everything comes together. Okay, I'm done. This is gonna be amazing. Start from square, complete the circle. Uh-huh. That's right. It's all about geometry and energy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still really like your yoga master. That's a pretty good one. You could uh, pick on that guy. I actually, thanks for bringing that up because I've been thinking about like I want to do another sketch and I want like I need I want to do something good that I know is gonna get some love. So I think I will. Okay. Get, I'm gonna expand on that one. I need to find some people mm. that will be on my yoga class. Mm. That's. Are you trying to make some yoga media for your Instagram or something? Oh, for your YouTube, probably put on YouTube. Mm. I mean, I'm really. You know, just trying to get out good content of any kind, and I just need to schedule some shit. And but I know we're kind of focusing on music right now. We're, I mean, we're we're pushing at, at least in our in our we're trying to take this podcast to three six eight. Oh, yeah. So maybe by the time we're there, they'll have a yoga like a yoga sort of studio for you to do your thing in. Yeah, I mean, I. I mean, I actually do like also like yoga. I know you really don't, but Dang. no. <laughs> yeah, okay, God, I mean, I guess we should just say that this is just a conversation at this point, guys. Tune out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's we've. Done... It... Do you ever listen to our show, Tree? Uh, every now and then, yeah. I heard a couple episodes last week. Who's are you? Li- you lived in Wish yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Why? Yeah. Well, Zach, well, Zach, we well, Zach show always. That's like a thing yeah. we do. We Z- we have parts of the podcast where we just tell the, t- the listeners to tune out. So, well, usually at the end, or sometimes even the middle, because like, like it's it's sort of like the whole time we're sort of trying to perform a little bit, but then we're just like we kind of just need to talk really quick. Oh, so we just ask the listener so to tune out because we can't we can't edit. We podcast. we don't have any like fresh content or like good ideas at that moment, or we're just Ooh. so we just like okay guys, like whatever you have to do, maybe grab a bite, five minutes, come back, and we'll hopefully we'll be back into some of the meat. So are you saying this is more like audio live streaming? You can call it whatever you want. You can call it three ways from Sunday. Uh, <laughs> I think that's what it is. No one's ever done that. Audio live streaming. <laughs> nah. That's called radio. No, yeah. Because even ra- no, radio <laughs> is uh, it's a Radio is live streaming. It was terrestrial, but it's a program. But... This is just like But they were streaming. Are you calling they couldn't they could they couldn't make any mistakes. I guess you're right, but they're performing the whole time, whereas sometimes you guys let go of your guard and you just like have a conversation and you get back and forth. I mean, you think I think when we were watching <clears throat> when you listen to Howard, you're getting the real Howard, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending I'm pretending I'm like a yeah. Howard. When you listen to Howard, you know, you're getting you, the real You yeah, know you yeah, that ain't no filter there. How it's done. Yeah. He's speaking his mind. I was saying, he's speaking his mind. He knows exactly why he's doing it. He's got no filter. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you're still still here, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go right. pour a bucket of water into the toilet. <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> All right. And, and Let's so end it because this is about okay, an hour now. End it with go in the house and do it. I don't have to pee anymore. Hold on. Let me drink some water. <laughs> drink some water and then go flush the toilet. Guys, if you want more shows, go to the apple tree. Pick one off. Bite it. 
Spit it at Did the you hear snake. that? <laughs> that was just me pouring my water bottle into the uh, bir- into the bird bath. <laughs> that was a very gentle stream. All right. We'll leave it on a gentle note. I like that. All right. Next time you talk to us, we're going to be in character. Ugh, this is going to be terrible, you guys. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Oh, Have good. a wonderful day. I'm into this. Bye. Peace. Goodbye.